Heffernan. Deaton loses out, but it comes away. Oh, Borca! Oh, what a finish by the Spaniard! Borca Perez with his third goal for Kilmarnock. What a strike this one was. Lethal. Back-to-back -back game since September. Oh, and there's Heffernan! The ball breaks to him in the box. There was nobody near him. Kilmarnock have a two-goal lead. Just look at the amount of space afforded to Paul Heffernan. Chris Humphrey now. Into the box, pass his man, fired across McHugh, and then Murphy got the final touch on it. Motherwell back in the game with 20 minutes to play. McHugh would have surely scored, but Murphy was there to make sure. Here's Henrik Oyama. Oh, and a weaving run from Oyama. Now on the right foot, oh, it's a wonder goal from the Estonian. The 21-year-old has Motherwell level. Just his second goal in his last 32 games. But what a special effort it was. Here's Claros back in the starting lineup. After the turn of Gary Deegan. Well, that's a good ball forward, and Griffiths is onto it. Lee Griffiths round the goalkeeper and tucks the ball into the net from a tight angle. The drought is over for Lee Griffiths as he nets for the 14th time this season. He's gone seven games without a goal, but the Celtic defence caught out by the long ball. And Griffiths, the finish was clinical. Quickly taken, is Cammy Smith. Oh, quick thinking from Aberdeen, and there's Nam again. One minute into the second half, and Niall McGinn opens the scoring. He's to Smith, and what an area he put it in, and the finish was so easy for McGinn. Shaughnessy looks for the return from McGinn. Instead, he feeds Johnny Hayes. Floated in by Hayes for McGinn. Oh, wonderful header by Niall McGinn. It's his second of the game. His 14th of the season, and this was just beautifully guided into the far corner. Missed by Nish. Oh, and it's broken for Stewart, and Dundee have one back, and it's game on again here at Dens. McAllister made a nuisance of himself, and Mark Stewart has his first goal for the club. Shaughnessy forward. Gallagher. Oh, and that was... Laps play from Declan Gallagher. Can Hayes profit? Douglas with the save, keeps it out of the second attempt, but there's now McGinn to prod it home from inches out. A hat trick for Niall McGinn, who becomes the first Aberdeen player to score a hat trick away from home in the SPL since Hisham Zero Ali did so 11 years ago on this very ground. Curiously, Dundee United and St Mirren met in the final game of 2011 and produced a thrilling two-all draw in Paisley. That's good play by Gary Teal. Into the box now. Can he find a man? He can! And it's Dummett. Paul Dummett opens the scoring. His second goal in a St Mirren jersey. The man on loan from Newcastle and getting on the end of Gary Teal's cross. Left-footed, great ball in by Douglas, John Daly being held, that's a penalty kick. Paul Dummett, the goal scorer, will be booked because Daly would have been certain to put that one in the net. And it will be Daly to pick himself up, dust himself off and make it 1-1, two minutes before half-time. John Daly with his 11th goal of the season, sending Craig Sampson the wrong way. Rankin, looking for options, he's got Mark Miller, Douglas again, 
A lovely turn by Armstrong. He's going to have a go here. Oh, and it's deceived Craig Sampson. And Stuart Armstrong puts Dundee United 2-1 up. Just seconds before the interval. Just look at the swerve on that one. Sampson didn't see it coming. Nine home games without a win for Dundee United. Watson, that was slack. Lewis Guy's onto it. Now Stephen Thompson to equalise, which he does. Five minutes into the second half. And what a mess that was from Dundee United at the back. Not for the first time this season. Stephen Thompson pounces to. Teal with the free kick. Good ball in. Oh, and it breaks and it's in. And it's Mark McCausland. St Mirren. 3-2 in front. The St Mirren have only won two SPL games away from home in 2012. One of those did come in Dundee. That was at Dens. There's Van Zanten. Oh, it's snuck in. All the way through from David Van Zanten. A rare goal from the Irishman. You have to say... This was most likely to be a cross. Barry Douglas in injury time. Oh, great goal by Barry Douglas. United have won back, and the final minute of SPL football of 2012 produces a goal, but it's just a consolation.